Hey guys, it's John P and I'm excited because we're about to unbox some new Manfrotto video tripods. Welcome to Geek Beat. Okay, I'm pretty excited because we have these brand new tripods in. You can see I've actually got four of them. I've got one here and three more over here. We're going to be replacing all our video tripods that we're using here on the Geek Beat set with these new bad boys from Manfrotto. These are the MVK 502AQs. This is a new system. It's comprised of two different pieces. It's got a set of legs and it has a video head. So let's take a look at it. Uh, let's see, first of all, one of the things I very much like, it comes with its own bag. So when you're gonna travel around with these things, um, they're, they're not exactly light or compact because these are heavy duty stands. So anything you can do to make carrying them simpler is better. And Manfrotto always has these beautiful bags and they're nice and cushioned. You know, they're just, just a high quality bag, but we're not here to look at the bag. We're here to look at the legs and the head. So let's get into this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got it Velcroed in. That's a nice touch. Oh man. Oh, the first thing I want to tell you is just picking this up. It feels good. It just feels like a solid video tripod. All right, let's take a look at it. Let's look at details. First of all, the legs. Um, I like this particular type of attachment. These are quick, quick attach kind of legs. I don't care for the ones that you turn as much. You find those more in, in like photo tripods, but I like these because it's really easy and secure. You know you've got it. Let's see how long these go. Oh my God, that is absolutely monstrous. So uh, just keep in mind guys that I'm, I'm just over six feet tall. And so we'll see the extent of how tall we can get this video tripod. So if you were, let's say at an event and you had people all around you and you wanted to be videoing above their heads, you could actually do that here. You could, you could get a camera up here above the crowd and you'd be able to work it from here, especially if you have a remote monitor, let's say down here somewhere. So that would be very, very cool. Now I'm going to bring it down so we can have a working level so we can take a look at this. One of the other things that I'm noticing, oops, right off the bat is the feet on these things. So let's take a look here. You have different kinds of environments that you're going to be working in. Here we've got a hard floor and so it's got rubber feet with a little graduated ridge system and that, that's going to give us a secure grip. But notice that I can actually just turn that in and reveal a pointed spike tip there. So that's gonna let us work on something like, you know, a wood or a dirt or softer flooring where we don't want it moving around and the rubber wouldn't do us any good. So that is a nice little detail. Okay, let's take a look at the head. First of all, uh, these legs are designed to be used with multiple heads, Manfrotto or otherwise. It's got a standard 75 millimeter ball here, meaning that we could unscrew this and we can remove it and you'll see that right down here there's a little ball channel. And so when we put this on here and screw it in, this allows the head to float around in all different directions and the head's gonna have a little level there. So that, that standard 75 millimeter opening means that we, if we wanted to, we could change out this head. Now the head that comes with this kit is good for cameras that weigh up to 15 pounds, but these legs will actually support cameras that weigh up to 44 pounds. So we could go with a much bigger head later and uh, that's one upgrade rather than buying the whole kit. And by the way, this whole kit is about 549, which is well worth it for a nice fluid head, heavy duty system. All right, so as we mentioned, one little adjustment here lets us move the ball head around this way, but we've also got some other adjustments that we can make. We can rotate the uh, unit, and this is going to provide uh, locking and tension for this rotational movement right here. So if I just crank that down, 
now it is locked in place and if I loosen it up it just kind of uh, creates a little more drag there we've also got uh, drag here for this up and down motion so it's spring loaded you'll notice that if I just let go of it with no drag it moves back into place that's going to help you when you have a heavier uh, head and you can change the speed at which it does that with this fluid knob here now let's take a look at the uh, release mechanism so we've got a plate that's a uh, standard plate you're going to slide it in from this direction and it's going to click to lock in place and then once it's locked in place you're going to screw this down and it's going nowhere so looks like it comes with uh, both the smaller and larger size uh, adapter you know screws for your camera so you can put a smaller or bigger uh, head on it I mean camera on it so one last thing we should be able to find in the bag would be the control arm let's take a look at that I like the grip and I like the red accents you know say what you will uh, it's one thing it's important for a piece of equipment to perform well but honestly you want to kind of look good while you're doing it this kind of equipment is used is used by people who are professionals and so if you're gonna go show up at an event and act like a professional you want to look like one as well so I think that the burgundy uh, accents and everything look really nice so that's what you get it looks like we've also got a 60 millimeter adapter i believe i believe this is the 70 millimeter ball and that's a 60 millimeter adapter so you could go up or down for these particular legs so it feels nice and smooth i can't wait to give it a try uh, we'll come back to you guys with some uh, videos about how to put these things into use and more of our kind of behind the scenes tutorial stuff is coming at you. So thumbs up on YouTube and uh, I don't know, it's time for me to go play with this. See you guys. Sorry about the mess. Where you can add a little Star Wars with every meal. Once it's time for me and my Note 4 to hit the road, I pop it into my Tell Energy backpack. Um, I'm pretty excited about them because everything Manfrotto does is high quality. So.